Hello, welcome to lesson 17, Destructors in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is destructor. What is destructor? Destructor in C Sharp, it's a special method of a class which will invoke by itself automatically when an object of a class or, or an instance of the class is destroyed. It means that destructor is a special method in the class which will call automatically by itself when an object of a class is destroyed. That is the specialty of destructor. And what is why is the use of destructor? Destructor is used to write a code that needs to be executed when, when an instance is destroyed. Suppose you are having a class and a created object of a class and once that object of the class is destroyed, destructor, we need a destructor to write a code such that it will get executed. That is where destructor come into existence. And here is the syntax of destructor. This is in the previous session we, def we saw how do we define a constructor. Now here we'll see how do we define a destructor. You can see class sample A is having two methods. Uh, one is constructor. First one is constructor. You can see here public sample A is the constructor. This is how we'll define a constructor. It will be having a mod access modifier public, no return type, and same as the class name. Similarly, we'll define destructor by the class name. We'll have a class name. First, we have a tilted symbol followed by the class name. This is how we define a destructor. Tilted with the class name followed. This entire thing we called as destructor. This is called destructor. Uh, this, is the, this is the way how do you define a destructor. Tilted symbol followed by the class name we call as destructor. Now, we'll jump into coding and understand how the destructor works. I'm having, here I'm having a piece of code which explains you how the destructor works. I'm having class sample A. This is the class of me, of mine. And here I'm having a constructor public sample A which is printing an instance created. Okay. And sample, we yeah, are having destructor also. This is how, how do you define a destructor. I'm having an instance destroyed as a sentence. I want to print it on the console. That is an instance destroyed. This, this line will print when an object, when an instance of a class is destroyed. Okay. Now what I'm do, doing in my program, I'm, I'm calling, a, I'm having a method called test method and a static method. Okay. I'm creating the instance, I'm creating the object of sample A. That is sample A T is equal to new sample A and instance of the class is created. Means I'm creating the object of the class sample A. Now in the main method, I'll call this test method. What happens? This test method will create an instance of a class. Means it will call the instance created as instance created. Now once it is called, the next method constructor job is finished. Once test method is called, whatever the class should execute, it will execute. The next one is destructor. What this destructor will do? Destructor will check whether this function is executed. Once it is executed, it will destroy the space allocated. How it will do is, uh, here I am explicitly using gc.collect method. What is this gc? c -sharp language is a garbage collector language. This means that memory that is no longer referenced by your program, any part of your program uh, will be reclaimed and is later used. Means with the gc.collect method, garbage collector dot, in the garbage class we have a method called collect method. We for using this collect method, we force a garbage collection to occur at any time. This means that here we are calling the test method. Test method will in, will create an instance. Once the instance instance is created, this methods will get executed. It means first a uh, test method will call. Once the test method is done, an instance of a class is created within the main function. This is the main function. Here when we call the test method, an instance of a class is created. Okay. As the instance is created within the function, it will be local to this function only. It will be local to this function and its lifetime will be expired immediately and this lifetime will be expired immediately uh, once after the execution was completed. So when we run the program, first we'll get an instance created and immediately once the function execution is completed, destructor will get invoked. Now to understand that, we'll run the program. Now once the program is run, we'll get the output. Yes, first it created an instance, later uh, destructor by itself got invoked and it checks whether the instance of the object instead of the class is destroyed. Yes, it is done at that time. Instance of the class is destroyed at that time, the destructor will come into existence and it destroys the instance. This is 
what the dest uh, destructor is thank you have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below